Hello my friends, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy and I'm so glad you're here. Today there is, we're going to do a collective reading about letting go to make room for the new. What is it that we need to let go of to make room for the new? What, what new are you wanting to come into your life? So I've been feeling this energy all day. What do we need to, whoo, what do we need to let go of to make room for the new? Is the new a relationship? Let's see. Spirit has something for you here. Spirit has something for you about releasing, making room for energetically, making room for what wants to come in for you. So what do we need to release in order to make room for the new? Okay, we need to release negative thinking. We need to release anything that does not line up with our truth. The Seven of Swords can be your own doubt, your own not trusting in yourself, your own negative thinking, but it can also be, because it's like an energy of, of <clears throat> lies, of betrayal. Your own thinking can betray you. If your own thinking is telling you lies, things that, you know, like negative thinking or thinking that you can never succeed or thinking that you can't have the new thing, that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, whatever it is that you're asking for, if your mind and your self-talk is telling you that you can't have that or you're not worthy or you're not good enough, then it is lying to you. It is an illusion. It's a lying, cheating, stealing that needs to go. So this can also be somebody who is lying, cheating, stealing from you that you're maybe still holding on to. Now this can be somebody actually that you're holding on to that you know just does not line up with your truth, that does not match or align with you, that you may know that they are not treating you right or they are not talking to you right. They are not they may actually be betraying you. They may actually be lying to you, cheating on you, and hurting you in some way. And if you are still holding on to somebody because maybe of a comfort zone or fear of letting go or something like that, Spirit is saying you can't ask for the new. You can't expect the new to come in until you release the old. Releasing it and making plans. If you're in a connection with somebody who is a narcissist or something like that, somebody who is not good for you. Okay, I'm just gonna say that. Lying, cheating, stealing. This could be a boss relationship. This could be a sibling relationship. This could be a connection and relationship relationship that you are still holding on to, whether or not you're in that relationship or not, or whether you are still holding on to the energy of what this person did to you. It is time for you to release this energy. And if you're still in this connection and you know that this person is not good enough for you, at least make the decision to move in the direction of leaving this connection. But there is an energy of some, some lying, cheating, stealing, that's either coming from you or someone else that you need to let go of. And if you are telling me, Cindy, I've already let go of this person. I am out of that relationship. Well, then you may be still holding on to the energy of it. Meaning, you may still be holding on to what they did to you or how you felt or how it made you doubt yourself or question yourself or your self-worth or your intuition. Can I trust myself? Can I trust my intuition? I got myself into that mess and now can I trust myself going forward? Any of that, we wanna let it all go. We wanna wipe the slate clean right now to where you've gone from, where you've come from and where you are right now. Spirit is saying we need to wipe that slate clean and let go of this attachment to this energy that you're holding on to in some way. Could be that this energy is holding on to you. I don't generally read like that. But it's time for you to let go of the thinking about it or you to let go of an actual person. So let's see, because we need to release the energy 
to bring you justice. We need to release the energy to make room for justice, to make room for something new that comes in that's balanced and healthy and stable, right? I'm going to leave justice right here. We need to make room, release whatever this is, especially, well, not especially, but even if it's coming from your own self, we need to release it. So what is this new? When we release that, <laughs> okay, when we release this energy, what is this new thing that's coming in? Yeah, so this thing that you're holding on to is preventing you from your sun. It's preventing you from your victory. It is holding you back. It is holding you back from the thing that you've been asking for. The thing that you've been asking the universe for, you can't ask for the new when you're still holding on to the old. It's got you all in your head. So this could be you lying to yourself. And, you know, first of all, let me just tell you, your feelings are valid, okay? What you've gone through, it's put you here. And your feelings are val valid. But there is, there comes a time when you you have to make steps to really step out of this energy of stress and anxiety and all the fear and everything and give it to a higher power and ask for help to your higher power. The universe has got you. The universe has brought you to this reading right now. And whenever you are seeing this, it is for you. You take it how it resonates for you in your situation and you take it as a confirmation that you were brought here for a reason. So you're in this energy of, you know, really worried. You're worried and it's because of somebody or your own thinking that put you in this place and you're focused on the problems. You're focused on the things that are not going right. You're focused on the fear of and, and, the, and the uncertainty. And will this ever be, will I ever reach my son? Will I ever be happy? Will I ever be in this place where I feel free? where I feel content, where I'm emotionally content and not worried all the time and stressed all the time and feeling this anxiety, but also being betrayed. Will I ever be happy in a relationship or will I always attract somebody that betrays me? We need to let that energy go and put your trust in your higher power that actually brought you here to this reading to tell you that you're being supported right now your good luck is here the only way you can actually see this happening this is good luck good fortune magical synchronicities lined up for you and it's going to be make you so happy and you know when we have this card it's a big fat yes to that thing that you're asking for and it's also you being so grateful for what is coming because you know it's like it is so much better than you think. And you're jumping up in the air and you're giving thanks to the universe because you know it wasn't you. You know that it was the universe because it's way beyond what you thought and anything that you could have pictured for yourself. So the only way to receive this is to let go of the past. And you say, but Cindy, they really hurt me, you know? And I mean, I, I feel bad. I feel bad all the time. And I, how do I let that go? You make a conscious choice to get, to stop dwelling on everything that they did. This is the nine of swords. You can imagine each of these swords, something that someone did to you some sort of betrayal, some sort of challenge, some sort of negative thing that happened to you. Yes, it's been a very tough struggle for you. Yes, it's been hard. Yes, it was terrible. Yes, it, it, it hurt you and your feelings are valid. But it's time to shift that focus, get it off of all the things that they did to you, all the things that has happened to you and get it on where you're going. Give it all to the universe and allow this good fortune and good 
blessing. The universe wants to bless you. The universe wants to bring you your big fat yes. The universe wants to make you happy. Wants to see you jumping for joy. The universe wants to bless you. And that's what this is. This is a blessing coming in for you. This is a gift being given to you. Because, because, just because of you being you, but also the universe sees everything that you've been through. It's time to let go of the past. It's time to accept justice. And consciously, if you even if you have to tell yourself every single day, the universe wants to bless me. The universe wants to see me happy. The universe wants to bring me justice. The universe wants to bring me victory and success. And tell yourself in the mirror, I deserve victory and success. I deserve my happy ending. I deserve my son. I deserve my good fortune. Today is the day that my good fortune plays out for me. Even if you have to tell yourself that at every day, every hour of every day to get yourself out of focusing on all the bad and looking forward to good fortune and blessings coming in, this is what you need to do. But I'm also hearing very loud and clear, even before I started this reading, that there is somebody who needs to let go of somebody. Let go of somebody or something that is putting you in this energy. There is a lot on your mind. There is a lot of overthinking. There is a lot of overanalyzing, but it's because somebody hurt you. There is somebody who is hurting you and making you feel like this. You know that they're not for you. Regardless of the situation, regardless of what they did, we're not focusing on what they did. We're not focusing on the negatives. We're focusing on letting go. Justice comes in with the sword, cutting out anything that does not align with your truth. There's, there's an energy of not truth here. So take a look at what you're holding on to, even if it's a past energy. And make the decision today to let it go. Let's leave it in the past. Let go and walk away. And if you can't walk away from somebody that you know that I'm talking about, if you're not in a position to be able to walk away yet, make the choice in your heart that you are ready. You are making that decision to walk away when you can and you ask the universe for help because justice is here and the universe is delivering you good luck and good fortune and magical things happen when this card comes out. Favor is turning in your direction. That means open doors that you don't see that are even there. So he's sort of standing in front of a door here. There's an open door for you to be able to move if you make the decision and you ask for help. All of a sudden, a door will appear. All of a sudden, you're free. But you have to make that choice to not allow mistreatment anymore, to put up boundaries and not allow anything less than what you deserve anymore. Put up, you make that decision. I am not living this way anymore. I'm going to move forward. Universe, I need help. Universe, I need help. And you trust with all your heart and all your might. And that door will open. It is absolutely divinely guided for you to be here today. This is a spiritual lesson. This is exactly what you needed to hear. And you, my friend, are receiving but you have to take it. You have to make the choice. You have to receive it. And you have to let go of the past and get ready. Get ready for your life to change. <laughs>